Hello friends, today we will be doing a simple experiment on static electricity. First, let's understand what is a static electricity is. Static electricity is an imbalance between the electric charges in an object. It's an imbalance between the negative and the positive charges in the objects. There are various experiments that can be done using the static electricity. Here we are showing you how an ordinary piece of paper will rotate without anyone touching it, without blowing on it or without any battery. To perform this activity, we need wool, a comb, a rectangular piece of paper, foam rubber and a sharpened pencil. First, make a pencil stand using a piece of foam rubber or eraser in your geometry box. Take a rectangular piece of paper and fold it in half. Then rotate it again and fold it in half so that you can find cross folds on it. Here you will find the center of the paper and it is also the pivot point of the paper. Place the center of the paper on the tip of the pencil. Make sure the paper will rotate smoothly on the pencil. Now take a plastic comb and rub it on the wool several times. There will be transfer of electrons between the two objects. A comb and wool will be electrically charged. When we bring the charged comb near the paper, it will get attracted towards the comb. And when we rotate the comb, the paper will follow the comb and rotate around its axis. When we rotate the comb other way round, the paper also rotate other way round and follow the comb. Why our paper rotates? It's due to static electricity. All materials contain millions of small particles called protons and electrons, which have electric charges. Proton have positive charges and electron have negative charges. Usually, they balance each other in the objects. So, most of the objects are neutral. But when two objects rub together, some of the electron transfer from one object to the other, creating a positively or negatively charged object. Materials with like charges, positive or negative, repel or move away from each other while those with have opposite charges, they attract. When we rub a comb over wool, the comb picks up electrons from wool and hence the comb gets negatively charged while the wool gets positively charged. When we bring the charged comb near the paper, the paper is attracted to the comb. Why? The negative charges on the comb repel the electrons in the paper further away, leaving the paper's positive charges closer. The paper is then attracted towards the comb. Please note that the best chances of success for this type of the experiment are on cold and dry days. I hope you will do this experiment in your home and learn about static electricity. Thank you very much.